let's talk about how COVID-19 has affected our race team. Well, I think the easy thing to discuss and talk about is just uh, you know, the new norm everyone's talking about. And our, our new norm is we're, we're practicing social distancing as a race team. We're trying to do our part. Um, we were closed all last week just to kind of monitor and, and kind of oversee what was going on. And we decided to readdress the situation, take it day by day and week by week. And we, we opened the shop yesterday for kind of a, a partial opening where we have uh, rotating shifts, as you may say it, and we're limiting people access to the race shop. No one who works there for the team can come into the shop. Um, you know, we're practicing social distancing at the shop. People are working in different areas. We're really treating this as a second off season of sorts. Um, <clears throat> small projects, large projects that weren't able to get done leading into Daytona, we're focusing on. Obviously, I think those projects may go by pretty quickly. But uh, as I said earlier, we're focusing day to day, week to week, and we're, we're continuing to monitor, you know, obviously what the governor of North Carolina says, what the president of the United States says, as well as the, what the CDC says. And we're trying to be do our part, and it takes all of us to do our part to kind of uh, obviously help control the situation. But it's definitely unique in a sense where you kind of race four races and then you take a race off, take another race off. And I think that the biggest question mark we have out there is when do we go back to racing? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's throwing the most, the uncertainty is what's kind of got people on edge the most and got them concerned, but we have to kind of follow in the lead of what NASCAR is telling us. And, you know, you know, we've all been told that the, the goal of NASCAR and the goal of all the stakeholders in the sport is to race all 36 races. And until we're told otherwise, we're, you know, we're looking forward to getting back to the racetrack and getting back to what normal life is for us. And that's going, you know, Thursday to Sunday to different markets and racing for in front of thousands of fans and millions of people on TV. Yeah, it's, it's easy to <clears throat> just get caught up thinking about how you're affected and how we're affected as a team and, and our uh, being thrown <laughs> off of not going to the track each weekend during the season. But we've had calls with people that we've been talking to from a business development standpoint. And in fact, we had one the other day uh, speaking to a gentleman. His wife is a nurse and through her care of one of their uh, patients at the hospital, she was coughed on and came down with the virus. And so you, you, you hear stories like that and you're like, man, it's, this is a real thing out there and, and people are uh, in danger in a lot of cases and, and putting themselves in harm's <laughs> way. And so really thankful for the people that are, are caring for and serving the communities and the, the people that are affected by it. But, you know, we're a sports team, we're entertainment. And so a lot of cases, you know, a lot of people are sitting at home looking for something to do and watch or connect with virtually. And so we've had to reshape the way we do our conversations, whether it's uh, Skype calls or Zoom or whatever the case may be. But there's so many different things that are taking place out there that are just a new norm for business these days. And I think what you're you're looking at from a, a business standpoint, a sales, marketing, communications is there's going to be a reset on on how business is done as we go through this time. <laughs> so we're we're trying to navigate in a sensitive manner right now, uh, not really pushing any, hey, we're looking for new sponsors on this, that, or the other, but uh, being cognizant of, of the greater, you know, challenge in the, the world today and being sensitive in those conversations and really using it as a time to build relationships and, and check on people and how you doing? Is there anything we can do to help you? Hey, stay safe. We look forward to talking to you soon. And, and so that's kind of the, the mode of our conversations out of this side of the race team. Yeah, I think I, the, this podcast is a perfect example of, what we're, of how we're right. Our, our daily life has changed, right? I mean, our last podcast was face to face and this podcast is different office, different offices, me and my house and, you know, using Skype to <clears throat> do this. Luckily technology has advanced so far that we were trying to do this 10, 15 years ago. be, impossible right and also luckily technology has advanced thus far that you know hopefully it allows us to combat this coronavirus and you know to jeremy's point reset reset hit hit pause for the time being then hit reset and start over not fresh but from a different starting point or from from where we continued 
Yeah, I think kind of high talent off what JD said there with the relationships and how it's really a time to build those relationships. Uh, the last time we had Jeremy Lang on, we talked about how it's Levine family racing and it's not only family in the race team, but it's the fam- way we try to treat everyone we interact with as family, right? And it's one thing to say it on a podcast. It's another thing to put it into action, right? And yeah. it's it's given us an opportunity to do that.